Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good night. Good night. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good. Oh, nice. Good to see you. Yes. Hello, Ella Nielsen. Hello, teacher. How is it going? It's going well. How is it going? I'm doing well, too. Oh, no. Nice, uh, it's good to know. Great, really, you know, great. I like it. It's very good. I'm, I'm working, but uh, I'm, I'm going to stay great, always. Nice, very good. That's the okay. attitude, right? You have to enjoy what you do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Hello, Blanca. Hello, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? I'm very well. And you? Fine. Hello, Santos. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. What about you? Uh, good, very good. Oh, nice, excellent. Okay, let me see who else was. Uh, Irma had the, her camera on. Hello, Irma, are you there? No, she's not there. Hi, Hilmar. Hi, teacher. How do you feel? Um, and my day is a beautiful teacher. You had a beautiful day, excellent, I like <laughs> it. So you feel excellent. Excellent. Nice, very good. Okay, uh, so we are about to start. Estamos a punto de iniciar. We are about to, to start the class, okay? I have, let me see, four, eight. I have around 15 people connected. Tengo como 15 conectados, pero Carlos dice que estará solo escuchando porque está trabajando. Let me see who else. Alguien más me escribió, me parece. Let me check here. I think it was Sara, I guess. Let me check here. Yeah, it's Sara. And then let me see who else is writing. Quien más me está diciendo que solo estará. Oh, let me see here. Oh, Marvin is, is on the way home. All right, thank you for informing. Okay, so um, so we are going to start then. Uh, so welcome to today's class. Bienvenidos a la clase de hoy. De hoy. Welcome to today's class. And I can see many people are missing in this moment. Faltan algunos. Así que para los equipos que teníamos va a ser un poquito difícil para que trabajemos, ¿ok? For example, Carlos, ¿con quién estaba Carlos? En, la, en el trabajo de ayer de la conversation. Mm. Yo con estaba con Carlos. Con Carlos, ok, sí, porque él no puede estar ahorita, dice. ¿Quién estaba con Sara en la conversación, en the conversation? ¿Quién estaba con Sara? ¿No recuerdan? You don't remember? Let me see here. Voy a revisar acá. Let me see. Oh, it was Jamie and Claudia, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Sara yes. está con nosotros. Yes. Ok, good. Sí, porque ella dice que no puede estar ahorita. En ¿Quién más? Mario me aparece que texió también, ¿verdad? Good Mario, night, teacher. Hello, good night, Rafael. Good evening, sorry. Uh, good evening, teacher. I'm working, says Mario. Ya yeah, Mario estaba con quién? With Javier, right? Con Javier. ¿Is Javier connected? Yet. Ok, vamos a hacer una cosa, ok, we, we are going to do something. Vamos a esperar que se, tal vez en unos 15 minutos todos se están conectados y vamos a hacer otra actividad y luego vamos a volver a esta actividad nuevamente, ok? To wait for the others, para esperar a los demás. ¿Les parece? Yes? ¿O yes, no les parece? Too. Yes, ok, thank you. Ok, let me pass the attendance quickly. Aida? Present. Blanca? Present. Carlos, he said, well, he's connected, but he's present. Present. Yeah, it's okay. Ellen Nielsen? Present, teacher. Very good. Uh, let me see here. Um, Claudia? Present. 
Good. Ilmar? Present teacher. Nice. Irma? Present teacher. Teacher, tengo ahorita problemas que no me responde la cámara. Se me quedó trabada, no me abre. Ok, thank you for informing. Gracias por informar, Irma. Thank you for informing. Gracias. Javier? Jamie? Present. Carla? Present. Very good. Maria? Isabel? No. Mario? Mario is driving, I think. He's working. Dijo que estaba trabajando. Hello, Mario. Yeah, he's working. Marvin? Present teacher. Very good. Sorry, teacher. Uh, I'm working. Yeah, it's okay. I read your message. Don't worry. Uh, Rafael? Thank you. Okay. Good night, teacher. Hello. Salma? Uh, present, teacher. Very good. Robinson? Santos? Present teacher. Sara? Present teacher. And Wendy? No, not present. Okay, very good. And Liz? What about Liz? Present teacher. And Vanessa? Present teacher. Vanessa? Okay, Liz. Teacher, oh. present. Okay, present. Wendy. Okay, Vanessa, thank you. Very good. Uh, so, uh, welcome again. Bienvenidos nuevamente. Welcome again. So, listen, uh, para esperar a los que, bueno, creo que algunos están trabajando en un reporte, me dicen, pero tal vez en el momento de, de trabajar en la conversación, tal vez dejan ese espacio solo para que acompañen a, los, a las personas con las que trabajaron. Ok, cuando les diga, por favor, please. Ok. Y así podemos esperar a los demás también que se conecten para que todos estén completos. So you are complete. Ok. Very good. So let me modify the agenda then. Voy a modificar un poquito la gente entonces. Let me modify the agenda a little bit. Ok. So uh, that means uh, we have to start with a discussion. Vamos a empezar entonces con una... Um, with a writing, sorry. Con una actividad de writing. With a writing activity. Ok. Let me look for it here. Ok. So listen, I remember, just to let you know, I remember uh, that these days, estos días, these days, uh, we have been studying the present continuous, okay? Hemos estado estudiando el presente continuo, yes? For different purposes, yeah? So keep this in mind. And we said, y dijimos que el presente continuo, la estructura es subject, verb to be, que puede ser am, is, or are, y el verbo con in here, right? Y luego el complement. Y la time expression y la expresión de tiempo que necesitamos. The time expression we, we need, okay? Very good. Now listen. On page number um, 38, en la página 38, on page number 38, we have this space. Al final de la página tenemos este espacio. We have this space, okay? And listen. On this space, uh, we are supposed to write a six line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace, okay? Se supone que vamos a, a escribir un pequeño párrafo, seis líneas máximo, okay? Eh, acerca de actividades que están haciendo estos días en su trabajo, okay? For example, ayer, ayer hicimos algo similar. We did something similar yesterday, okay? For example, you can start like this. Um, pueden empezar así. These days, Pueden empezar así si quieren, ¿ok? This, o puede ser, let me see here. I'm doing, you can say I'm doing, sorry for my handwriting. I'm doing many things these days. Pueden empezar así todos. I'm doing many things these days. Estoy haciendo muchas cosas estos días, ¿ok? And then you continue. I am... Uh, writing, I am writing uh, some, some reports, for example. Okay, este es un ejemplo nada más. I am writing some reports. Okay, estoy escribiendo reportes. Y continúan, okay? And you continue writing your activities. Continúan escribiendo cosas que están haciendo estos días, okay? 
¿Ya? ¿Se entiende? ¿Is it clear? ¿Ya? Así vamos a empezar. Se lo voy a escribir nuevamente para que lo tengan. I'm doing... I'm doing many things these days. Estoy haciendo muchas cosas estos días. Many things these days. Okay, y luego continúan con las cosas que están haciendo. I am y lo que están haciendo. Ok, yeah, and what you're doing. ¿Se entiende? Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Ok, yes. excelente. Excellent. Yes, If using the present continuous. <risa> Recuerden que la, el último uso fue para actividades temporales, ¿verdad? Y eso es lo que vamos a usar ahorita, actividades temporales, algo que no es permanente, que yo estoy haciendo, ¿ok? ¿Ponemos el, el día y la hora o solo lo que se hace, teacher? No, no, in general, you can do it in general. Si, si ya dijimos arriba, I'm doing many things these days, it's understandable. Si quieren okay. pueden poner el día de ser necesario, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, for example, I am visiting some clients on tomorrow, for example. Or I am checking email on Friday. Pueden escribir el, el, la, la expresión de tiempo si quieren, pero no es necesario. It's not necessary. ¿Ok? Teacher, how can I say actualizar sus cuentas? Update, pero sus de ellos, sus cuentas de ellos o sus cuentas de quién? De mis clientes. Oh, there, then you say there, to update, to update, update. their Actualizar. accounts, to ah, update, okay. update their accounts, their accounts. But, pero si no ha dicho la de mis clientes, maybe you can say to update my, my client's accounts. Ok. I am updating, sería en este caso. I am updating my client's accounts, porque estamos usando el presente continuo. Ok. I am updating my client's accounts.
I will give you two more minutes, okay? Le daré dos minutos más. Y con las actividades que tienen está bien. Okay? If you don't have the six lines, no problem. Si no tienen las seis líneas, no hay problema. So, but I will give you two more minutes. Dos minutos más. Two more minutes. Okay, uh, time is over. Time is over. Se acabó el tiempo. It's okay. If you have three lines, it's okay. Si tienen tres líneas, está bien. No hay problema. There's no problem, okay? Three, four, five, six lines, two lines. It's okay. No problem. Lo que tengan está bien. What you have, it's okay. But please stop. Pero de, de, detengámonos ahorita. Stop, please, everybody. Dejen de hacer lo que están haciendo. Stop what you're doing. It's okay. If you have three lines. Si tienen dos, tres líneas, cuatro, it's okay. Está bien. It's okay. Okay, now listen. The idea in this moment is to share your activities. Okay, la idea es compartir las actividades, to share your activities with your group, con el grupo que van a trabajar. For example, for example, imagine I work with Blanca and Rafael. Imagínense que yo trabajo con Blanca y Rafael. Imagine I work with Blanca and Rafael. So I tell them, for example, es mi turno primero, yo digo, uh, hello, Blanca and Rafael, um, I am doing many things these days, empiezo, ¿verdad? I am doing many things these days. Uh, for example, por ejemplo, for example, I am giving classes on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I am preparing a report uh, for Saturday. I am visiting some clients uh, every day. Examples, right? Solo ejemplos, okay? Examples about the things I'm doing. Ejemplos de lo que estoy haciendo, okay? So días. And then I stop, luego yo termino, and Blanca continues. Y Blanca va a decir, hello everybody, uh, I'm doing many things these days. Estoy haciendo muchas cosas estos días. Y empieza su, su lista. 
And then Rafael, y luego Rafael. Hello, uh, Blanca M. Bernardo. I'm doing many things these days. Estoy haciendo muchas cosas estos días y empieza con su lista, ¿ok? That's how we are going to share. De esa manera vamos a compartir. That's how we are going to share. Is it clear? ¿Está claro? Yes. It's in groups. Lo vamos a hacer en equipos. It's in groups. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So let's go and practice then. Vamos a practicar entonces. Let's go and practice then. What about you, Claudia? Are I I going to drink a chamol tea tomorrow? What is Number what, one. what is chamol? No sé cómo se pronuncia. Vaya, lo voy a pronunciar. Chamomile, así como está escrito. Chamomile. Es de manzanilla, más no sé cómo se dice. Ah. Okay, okay. ¿Cómo? Chamomile. Así se pronuncia. Chamomile. Yes. Chamomile tea. Chamomile tea. La Chemo CH se pronuncia como K. Chamomile. Chamomile tea. Yes. Tea. Ah. I'm going to drink chamomile tea tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to the beach on Saturday. Really? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have a consultation. Así se pronuncia consulta, consultation. Consultation. Appointment. An appointment. Ah. An appointment. Es una cita. An appointment. Es una cita. Uh -huh. I'm going okay. To have a appointment. An appointment. An appointment. An appointment. Ah. Like this, así se escribe. Yes. I will have a talk on Saturday. Do you have what? Ah. Pero ahí me sale consultación. Así como lo oye. Consultación. Yes, but that, it's okay. But that's for a different purpose. Esa palabra se usa para un propósito diferente. Consultation. Ah, okay. Yes. It's an appointment. If it's with the doctor, it's an appointment. Entonces la correcta es esa. It's an, an appointment. appointment. An appointment. Ah, vaya. Si es una consulta médica, sí es an appointment. Ah. And, um, no. Uh, I will have a tell on Saturday. I will go to the work on Sunday. I have a meeting in the kinder of my son. Kinder? Mm -hmm. Kinder okay. of my son. Okay. Maybe you can say at school. Maybe you can say at school. I'm having I a meeting at school. 
at school. At Así. school. Ajá, en la escuela. At school. Ah, en escuela. Yeah. In school. Right? At yes. the school. And, then, and you, Adel Nilsson? Okay, I'm doing many things these days. For example, these days I'm cleaning warehouse. Oh. These days I'm checking reports. Sí, un, un poco les entendí, pero se me cortaba. Entonces, pero, pero sí les logré entender. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Aida. Thank, thank you. Okay. Salma. Hello, Hello. Salma. Hello. Uh, I, I am uh, repeat the, the dance. Uh, you see? Can you hear? No. Sentence, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces, yo digo, hello. Uh, Salma, Aida. I am doing a mini thing this day. I am visit uh, the new, the client tomorrow. I am uh, needing in Christ, in Christ and volume the solid. Uh, this day, I am checking the order list tomorrow. Yeah, and supervise the personal the supermarket on Saturday. Okay. Yes, Alma. Uh, I am Hilmar and Aida. Aida. I, I am doing many things this day. I'm listening audiobooks in English these days. Okay. Hi, Liz. I am doing many things this day. I am attending claims on Monday. I am visiting my family on Saturday. I am making contracts these days. I am sending emails on Friday. I am talking to my supervisor this day. Okay. Hi, Sarah. I'm, do I'm doing many things these days. For example, I'm traveling to Santa Ana City on weekends. I'm checking expense accounts on Wednesday. I'm preparing reports of suppliers for payments on Thursdays. I'm drinking ginger tea these days. I'm listening audiobooks in English these days. Okay. Hi, Liz. I am doing many things these days. I am attending claims on Monday. I am visiting my family on Saturday. I am making contracts these days. I am sending emails on Friday. I am talking to my supervisor these days. Okay. Hi, Sarah. I'm doing many things these days. For example, <laughs> I'm sorry, Liz. <laughs> okay, uh, so thank you very much for, um, for practicing and for sharing. Okay, so the idea of this activity was to to talk about your, or the events you are doing these days, okay? In your work. That was the activity, okay? De eso trataba la actividad. That was the activity, all right? So, um, I just have some questions in general, okay? Uh, what are, listen to the question. What are your classmates doing these days? Tell me something your classmates are doing these days. Díganme algo que, van, que, que están haciendo sus compañeros estos días. What are your classmates doing these days? Jessel Nielsen? For example, Santos is cleaning the roof car wash these days. Oh, very good. Thank you. That's excellent. Anybody else? Alguien más? For example, 
Sarah is visiting her family on Saturday. Very good. Thank you. That's excellent, Liz. Thank you. Anybody else? Alguien más? Javier cleaning the cars every day. Javier is cleaning the cars every day. Okay, thank you. That's excellent. Thank you, Rafael. Anybody else? The question is, what are your classmates doing these days? ¿Qué están haciendo sus compañeros estos días? Okay? Just say what you remember, lo que recuerdan, what you remember. Salma, do you want to? Do you remember one thing? Uh, Aida checking the email tomorrow. Oh, Aida is checking email tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Salma. Very good. Uh, anyone else? Alguien más? Anyone else? Um, Liz is visiting uh, her family in, no, visiting Santa Ana City. Okay, Liz is visiting Santa Ana City. All right, thank you, Sara. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Alguien más? Anyone else? No, nobody, nadie más, nobody else. You don't remember, no recuerdan las actividades. You don't remember the events. Um, Hilmar is going to visit new clients. Oh, excellent. Hilmar is going to visit new clients. Okay, thank you, Aida. And thank you, everybody, for your participations. Okay, so please go to reactions and give them a reaction. Mario drives every, every night for go home. Oh, Mario is driving every night to go home, all right? Alguien más iba a decir algo? Somebody, thank you, Rafael. Sí, eh, yes, Rafael, sí. Eh, Rafael driving in Volcans, Santa Ana y San Salvador on Saturday. On Saturday, yeah. okay. So Rafael is driving to Santa Ana Volcano on Saturday. Good, excellent. Thank you very much, Irma. So let's give them a reaction, please. Give your classmates a reaction. Vamos a dar una reacción a los que participaron. Go and give your classmates a reaction, please. Thank you for your uh, participation. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, very good. And for today, we have new unit, obviously. Tenemos nueva unidad. And the name of the unit for today is tech support. What is tech support? Okay, it says, what is tech support? Soporte técnico. Soporte técnico. Ok, tech support es una forma corta de decir technical support. Technical support. But in English, the short form is tech. Tech support. Ok, tech support. Now, um, what is um, or what do, what does, what does tech support do? ¿Qué hace soporte técnico? What does tech support do? ¿Qué hacen ellos? What do they do in tech support? They help, do. help the, uh, they help another about technological. Yeah, uh, they help, they help with technological problems, right? Yes. Yes, excellent. Ellen Nielsen, you were about to say something? Yeah, uh, they give, uh, give a cup for technical problems, for example. Yes. That's right. They give backup for technical problems, or they they give solutions, okay, for technical problems with the with the equipment, right? Con el equipo, with the equipment, with the printer, with the computer, with the air conditioning, okay, in general, right? In general, in general. Very good. Meeting, head, the meeting, head the meeting for the people in conference. Ah, that's right. They help. Uh, People with the equipment in conferences is correct. Okay, imagine they are going to install a projector and they need a laptop and they need some cables. Okay, so tech support helps. Tech support helps the people in the meeting. Okay, if they have a problem. Okay, thank you, Rafael. It's you. Thank you very much. So here we have a question in activity one. Uh, the question we have is well, we have two questions, right? Actually, here. In activity 1.1 in unit four, 
It's page number, let me see here, page number 39, página 39. So the question is, do you ever call tech support? ¿Alguna vez llaman so, a soporte técnico ustedes? Do you ever, ever is alguna vez, ok? Ever is alguna vez. ¿Alguna vez llaman so, a soporte técnico? Do you ever call tech support? When do you do it? ¿Cuándo lo hacen? When do you do it? Maybe you can say, if you ask me, Bernardo, do you ever call tech support? And I say, uh, yes, I do. Yes, right? Yes, I do. When do you do it? ¿Cuándo lo hace? When I have a problem with my computer, for example. When I have a problem with my computer. Cuando tengo un problema con mi computadora. You can say, when I have a problem with my printer. When I have a problem with my air conditioning. When I have a problem with my lap, with my tablet, with my cell phone, no sé, I don't know. Is your answer, okay? So please, take a moment and answer the two questions. Tomen un momento y contesten las dos preguntas. Si no tienen soporte técnico, dicen, no, I don't. Do you ever call tech support? No, I don't. When do you do it? We don't have technical support. No tenemos soporte técnico. We don't have technical support. Short answers, okay? Respuestas cortas, no se compliquen. Short answers. Don't complicate yourselves. Lo siento, no me he dado cuenta que mi cámara estaba apagada. I'm sorry about that. Está bueno, hombre. Micrófono, Rafa. Ya se lo apagué a Rafa. <ríe> I know he forgets. Yo sé que se le olvida a veces a Rafa. Eh, something special. <ríe>
Ok, one more minute. Un minuto más. One more minute. The question is simple, right? So, do you ever call tech support? ¿Alguna vez llama soporte técnico? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Ok. When do you do it? ¿Cuándo lo hace? Ok. When I have a problem with my computer. When I have a problem with my computer. When I have a problem with my laptop. Puede ser, no sé. When I have a problem with my printer, por ejemplo. Ok. Or you can say, I, uh, we don't have tech support in my company. We don't have tech support in my company. No tenemos soporte técnico en mi compañía. We don't have tech support in my company. Ok. So the pronunciation of the questions is, question number one, do you ever call tech support? Do you ever call tech support? When do you do it? When do you do it? Do you ever call tech support? When do you do it? Okay, that's the pronunciation. Okay, uh, so the questions are on page 39. Las preguntas están en la página 39. The questions are on page number 39. Okay. Very good. Now let's start with the practice. Empecemos con la práctica. Let's start with the practice. So uh, I need volunteers, but different people. Necesito voluntarios, pero personas diferentes a la actividad anterior. Okay? I need different people to, to share. Necesito diferentes personas para compartir. So volunteers, voluntarios, go to reactions and raise your hands. Vamos a reaccionar y levantan la mano si quieren participar. If you want Teacher, to participate. Es solo las preguntas. Yes, exactly. Okay. It's to answer the two questions. Es para contestar las dos preguntas que tenemos. It's to answer the two questions. So I have Blanca and Maria. Do I have more volunteers? Tengo más voluntarios? Do I have more volunteers? Los que participaron en la actividad anterior, no, I'm sorry, okay, for you. But I need other people to participate. I have Blanca and I have Maria. Oh, I have Carla too. Thank you, Carla. Thank you very much. And Vanessa, okay? Four, it's okay, with four. Con cuatro está bien, okay? So we start with Blanca, then we go with, uh, with Isabel, we continue with Vanessa, and we finish with Carla, okay? So Blanca, go ahead. So the question is, do you ever call tech support? Yes, I do. When do you do it? When I have an internet problem with my computer. Okay, that's excellent, simple, right? Thank you very much. Okay, Isabel, uh, do you ever call tech support? Microphone, Isabel. Yes, I do. Uh, when do you do it? When I have a problem with my, my laptop. Excellent. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Vanessa, Melanie, uh, do you ever call tech support? Yes, I do. When do you do it? When I have problems with my computer. Excellent. That's very good. Thank you. And we finish with Carla. Carla, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> do you ever call tech support? Yes, I do. Uh, when do you do it? I usually call the when. Okay. When the machine, machine yeah. has a problem and the reject me. When, and uh, how do you say? Rechazo, reject. Reject, yes. Okay. Um, maybe you, you can only say, Carla, uh, when the... I, I think you say uh, when the machine, right? When, when the machine has a problem, okay? When a machine has a problem, maybe you can say, all right? When a machine has a, a problem, okay? Yes. Okay, thank you, Carla. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, do, we, do I have another volunteer? Tengo otro más? Tengo otro voluntario más? Do I have another volunteer besides Blanca, Maria, and Carla, and Vanessa? Another volunteer? Oh, Santos, thank you very much. Santos, do you ever call tech support? 
Yes, I do. Uh, when do you do it? When I have problem with bus no start. With? When I have problem with bus no start. Mm, what do you mean? ¿Qué quiere decir? Eh, cuando tengo problema con el bus. Ah, no I, yes. When, when the bus doesn't start. Okay. Okay, uh, when the bus doesn't start, repeat, when the bus, yes. when the bus doesn't, doesn't start, 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 start. start. very good, yeah, okay. okay, okay, very good, cuando el bus no arranca, right, when the bus doesn't start, okay, very good, Robinson, are you a driver, Robinson, are you a driver, yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, sorry, Santos. Are you a driver? Oh, Robinson. I'm sorry, Robinson. Okay. <laughs> Santos says yes. He's, and, and Robinson is like, oh, it's me. No, it's Santos. <laughs> I'm sorry, Robinson. Thank you, Santos. Thank you very much. So please, everybody, go to reactions and give your classmates a reaction. Vamos a dar una reacción a sus compañeros, okay? Give your classmates a reaction, please. I give them running applauses. Yo les di aplausos ahí. <laughs> I like your reaction, Robinson. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you very much for your uh, participation, for the ones who participated. I really appreciate that. Okay, thank you. And let's go to the next activity. Solo antes de ir a la siguiente actividad, ya estamos, estaremos listos para hacer la conversación que tenemos pendiente. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Creo que casi todos están presentes ya, ¿verdad? Bueno, en caso que haya alguien que no esté presente, ahí le dejan el, el espacio, ¿ok? Now listen, es para la actividad que dejamos pendiente de ayer porque estamos esperando que se conectaran la mayoría. Eh, Mario, no sé si todavía va manejando. Creo que sí, ¿verdad? Marvin, no sé si ya llegó a casa. No, teacher, aún no. Okay, en la casa uh, tengo mis apuntes. Ah, ok, entiendo. Esperemos. Ok, hagamos otra actividad. Let's do another activity. Hagamos otra actividad. Let's do another activity. Ok. Uh, in the next activity, uh, we have a conversation. We always have a conversation in every unit. Ok. Here we have a conversation. Ok. And the conversation here. Ok, here. The conversation is, um, as you can see the context here, is about reporting a problem. Es acerca de reportar un problema. It's about reporting a problem by phone, por el teléfono. Reporting a problem by phone, okay? Yes? So read the conversation yes. quickly. Lean rápidamente. Read the conversation quickly. For you, para ustedes. For comprehension, para comprender, okay? For comprehension.
Okay. Um, okay, very good. So I have some questions for you. Tengo algunas preguntas. I have some questions about the conversation, okay? Question number one is, uh, where is Peter? Where is Peter? Don't está Peter? Where is Peter? He um, is in the, the human resource department. Okay, uh, Peter. Oh. Peter and is from the He's in the human resource. Peter. <laughs> oh, he's getting the body. He is the support. He is ah, support. Exactly. He is in tech support tech or support. the tech support office, you can say. Maybe it's an office, right? Okay, he is in tech support. Second question. Where is Robert? Where is Robert? Donde está Robert? Where is Robert? department. Okay, uh, Robert is in human resources department in HRD, all right? In HR. Good. Um, now, who is reporting a problem? Who, who is Kian, right? Who is reporting a problem? Robert. 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 Robert is reporting a problem. Very good. Uh, what is the problem? The computer it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't work. work. Ah, the computer doesn't seem to work. The computer doesn't seem doesn't to work. Seem to work. Uh -huh. la, la computadora no parece funcionar, okay? The computer doesn't seem doesn't to work. work. What vocabulary does he use to report the problem? ¿Qué vocabulario usa para reportar el problema? He like to report a problem. Ah, uh, exactly. I like to report a problem with my computer. Me gustaría reportar un problema. I like to report a problem, report a problem. with... And then you can change, right? You can say, for example, I like to report a problem with my printer. I like to report a problem with my cell phone. I like to report a problem with my car. Okay? So you change. Ahí se puede cambiar. With my car, with my cell phone, with my laptop, with my printer. And you continue. Very good. Now, listen to the pronunciation of the conversation, please. Listen carefully. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Let's do it again. Listen again, please. Escuchen otra vez, por favor. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. All right? Now let's listen to some people pronouncing the conversation. Escuchemos algunos. So let's listen to Blanca and Maria, please. You start, Blanca. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is what is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. Thank you, Blanca and Isabel. Uh, now let's listen to uh, Liz and, let me see here, and Sara. Liz, Sara, are you ready? Yes. Okay, yes, let's listen. Teacher. Let's listen to Sara and Liz. Okay, Liz, you start. Tú empieza, okay. Liz. Good morning. This is Peter. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. Uh, I am calling for the human records department. I'd like to report a problem with my comp. What is it, Robert? I don't seem to work. 
I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's listen to Ellen Nielsen and Aida. Ellen Nielsen, you start. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I'm calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. Hey, what is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, thank you very much. So do I have volunteers? Tengo voluntarios? Do I have volunteers to practice the conversation? Present teacher. Who? Say names, please. Numbers. Names, please. When? Wendy. Wendy, okay. Wendy, can I carry there a Wendy? Who wants to help Wendy? Rafael? Yes. Okay, Rafael, you start. Tú empiezas y luego sigue Wendy, okay? Okay. Good morning. This is this is Peter from Take Take Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I call him from Take Woman Resort Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is this problem? It don't see to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, thank you very much. Do we have do I have another pair of volunteers? Otra pareja de voluntarios? The last pair, la última pareja, the last pair. Ken, who? Yo, yo. Who? Tú. <laughs> Nombre, name? Claudia. Claudia, who wants to help Claudia? Can I ask a Claudia? Who wants to help Claudia? I am teacher. Okay, very good. So you start, Claudia. Tú empieza, Claudia. You start. Uh, good morning. Uh, there is Peter from Teach Super Hall. Can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Records Depot. I do like a report and the problem with my computer. What it is, Robert? It doesn't say to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. So listen, listen again to the pronunciation, please. Escuchen otra vez a la pronunciación y si quieren repitamos con el micrófono apagado, with the microphone off, okay? Let's repeat with the microphone off. Repitamos con el micrófono apagado. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? How can I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. I like to report a problem with my computer. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? What is it? It doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. I 
I see. Let me ask you some questions. I see. Let me ask you some questions. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Very good. I guess now the pronunciation is clear, right? What is it? Is like, ¿qué es? ¿Cuál es el problema? Okay. Porque le pregunta, I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it? ¿Qué es? Okay. ¿Qué es el problema? What is it? Okay. So let me pass the attendance to continue in a moment. Let me pass the attendance one more time. Aida? Present. ¿Alguien iba a decir algo? No. Yes, I. Uh, yes, yes, Isabel. I, I am. I. I don't have clear when say I am calling. I heard you. I calling. am calling. 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 Call. Like a O. Oh. That's right. It's correct. It's like O. Oh, calling. Oh. I am calling okay, from thanks. tech support. How can I help you? Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. No problem. Okay. Uh, Blanca. Present. Carlos? Claudia? Present. Elenison? Present, teacher. Uh, Hilmar? Present, teacher. Irma? Present, teacher. Javier? Present, teacher. Yeah, it's okay. Javier? Jamie? <laughs> Present. Carla? Present. Isabel? Present. Mario? Marvin? Present. Rafael? Present, teacher. Robinson? I am here, teacher. Robinson, ahora te corresponde a la sesión uno a uno, ¿ok? Yes. Uh, Salma? Present. Very good. Salma, mañana te corresponde a la sesión uno a uno, ¿ok? Ok. We have this one on one session tomorrow. Santos? Present teacher. El jueves, ¿ok? El jueves le okay. corresponde a Santos. Sara? Okay. Present teacher. Viernes, ¿ok? Friday. Ok. And Wendy? Present teacher. Monday, lunes. Liz? Present teacher. And Vanessa? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Excellent. Now, uh, creo que ahora sí ya podemos hacer esa actividad que tenemos pendiente, ¿verdad? Creo que ya mucho tiempo dimos. Yeah, we gave too much time, I think. Yes. Okay. Yes, Isabel, what are you about to say? <laughs> My pair is Marvin, but I heard that he didn't arrive to her to his Ma house. Not yet, Marvin. Todavía no, Marvin. No, teacher. Aún no. What okay. happened? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh, well, and you work only with Marvin. Solo con Marvin trabajo, Isabel. Yes. Yes, because Aida uh, had a problem with uh, her internet. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, yes. Okay. She needs to report the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Los demás sí están completas las parejas. Miren, por favor, examinen si están los, las personas con las que trabajaron. Check, please. Mario está manejando. ¿Con quién iba Mario? Who was Mario with? Ok, let's do something. Hagamos algo. Let's do something. Vamos a hacer algo, ok, para que hagamos ya la actividad porque ya no podemos darle demasiada, demasiada prórroga, ok. Vamos a hacer la actividad. En el caso de María, que no tiene compañero... Si quiere participar, lo puede hacer sola, ¿ok? Para que nos diga la conversación, solo para que la escuchemos. En el caso de los que tienen a su grupo, lo van a hacer con su grupo, por supuesto. ¿Yes? ¿Sí? Ayer les dije que les iba a dar cinco minutos para que hicieran los últimos arreglos, ¿verdad? Y practicaran. 
for the last arrangements and practice. Yes. Y luego después de los cinco minutos, algunos voluntarios pueden presentar a la clase. ¿De acuerdo? ¿De acuerdo? Yes. 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 Muy bien. Lo voy, a dejar, lo voy a dejar elegir equipo, así que pongan atención, por favor. Porque no puedo hacer los mismos equipos. Tengo un orden diferente, así que lo voy a dejar elegir un equipo, pero le voy a decir qué número de equipos son. Por ejemplo... Teacher, could you repeat the indication, please? Yes. You have, you have five minutes to finish and practice the conversation. And in five minutes, okay. regresamos, we come back, aquí a la sesión principal y elegimos algunos voluntarios para, para presentar. Ok. Okay. We'll select some volunteers to present. Ahorita lo voy a dejar elegir equipo, así que escuchen en qué, qué, en qué número de equipo van. Group number one, equipo número uno, group number one, Gilmar, Liz, and Vanessa. Okay. Group number two, equipo número dos, group number two. Aida, Isabel, and Marvin. Group number three. Grupo tres. Claudia, Jamie, and Sara. Group number four. Grupo cuatro. Group number four. Carlos, Robinson, and Salma. Group number five. Grupo número cinco. Blanca and Carla. Group number six. Irma en Rafael. Group number seven, el equipo siete, Ellen Nilsson en Santos. ¿Ok? Y el grupo ocho, group eight, Javier en Mario. Creo que ninguno de los dos está o sí está Javier. All right. Ok, no problem. Aquí no hay problema, entonces. We have no problem. Good. ¿Escucharon su número de equipo? Yes. 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 Very good. Yes. Antes, antes yes. de que vayan... Excelente. Antes de que vayamos, eh, lo voy a dejar elegir equipo. Algunos no encuentran dónde van a elegir el equipo, ¿ok? ¿Me puede dar la explicación algo? ¿Cómo les, ¿Alguien cómo les aparece para elegir equipo? ¿Alguien explicó la vez pasada? En la uh, esquina izquierda de mi teléfono aparece un, unos cuadritos y yo ahí me metí. ¿Un cuadrito? Para, para, ajá, para elegir equipo. Y ahí decía entrar a sesión, me parece, y elegir, elegir equipo, ¿verdad? Y ahí van a elegir. El... De uno en adelante. Ajá, ahí van a elegir, ahí van a elegir el equipo que, en el que están, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Agree? Ok, let's go. Ok, Ok, perfect. Let's go to work. Uh, ¿Is it clear? ¿Está claro qué vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. So five minutes to prepare. Cinco minutos para que terminen de prepararse. Five minutes to finish preparing. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's start. Elijan el equipo que le, al que corresponden entonces. ¿Les aparece? Does it appear to you? No. Okay. okay. Yes, ya les aparece. Ahorita hay algunos que están agregando. Some people are joining in this moment. ¿A qué equipo, Irma? Eh, seis. ¿A qué equipo, Santos? Uh, seven.
Y que este, estaría usted de oyente o, o tendríamos que o hagamos otro rapidito. Eh, si gusta más o menos, diría yo que armemos otro más rápido. Vaya, pero ya le, ya le entonces le voy a mandar. Eh, pero que no sé si no sé si a Carla le está llegando la señal bien, porque si no, agarra usted esa parte de Carla. Para Vaya, está bien, si gusta. Este. Uh -huh. Yo se lo está voy bien. a mandar. Si gusta, compártelo. Va, está bien. Sí, ahorita se lo mando. Yes, I work all day. Yes. Uh, all yes. day. I working. I working all day. Mm -hmm. Como we are using the ING. ING. Okay. Yes, I'm working all day. So, y también puede decir que está haciendo alguna otra cosa, como el ejemplo de la conversación. Mm -hmm. uh, and I do it. And I work uh, and in I... San Salvador. Porque también me preguntó uh, yes. where, where, where yes. I'm working. Yo le pregunté, oh, that's really? Do you working all day? And where are you working? Yo le digo, yes, At I'm this working. moment. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm working all day. day. And um, working my house. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, I'm working in my house. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. In a moment, um, and, and tomorrow, um, mañana descansaré. O sea, at this moment sería lo primero, ¿verdad? At this moment. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow. No, and I am resting. Resting tomorrow. Y estoy descansando y descanso mañana, ¿verdad? Así sería. Resting and descansar. Sí. Niño, ya un resting tomorrow. How about you? How about. Yo, ok. Y yo respondo. I'm working. I'm working I'm working in a nice company in a nice company 
in a nice. Ajá. Como en o en in an excellent company maybe too. Ah, Puede ser. En una buena compañía. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm working in a nice company. Eh, these days. These days. Mm -hmm. eh, I work Monday until Robinson, solo tienes que decir, oh, it is great. Y ahí te lo escribí en el chat. Oh. Es que no es escrito, no llevas la secuencia de la conversación. Sí, sí, sino que estoy aquí un poco por lo, lo, de, lo, de, lo de Carlos. Es que obviemos lo de Carlos, porque Carlos no está en el grupo. Entonces Ajá. solamente vamos a decir la parte tuya y mía. Ya. Sí, vamos a ver. Si quiere volvamos otra vez a empezar. Dale. Ok, hello Robinson. Uh, Robinson. What are you doing this day? Eh, hello, I am Sagni for going beach. How about, eh, about. Espere, how about you, mm -hmm. Salma? Hi, Robinson. I am reading the book The Cocinera de Castamar. Oh, yeah, it's great. It's great, mm -hmm. cierto. It's uh -huh. great. It's it is great. great. It's Como great. Bueno, eso es grandioso, Ajá. eso grandioso. es grandioso. Grandioso. Oh, sí. Grandioso. Y digamos mm -hmm. cómo podemos cerrar ahí. Como... Eso quiero ver. Yes. Um... Um... Yes. The... And I'm listening audio book. And you, Vanessa? I am doing my English homework and I am studying on my house. Okay. Very good. Hello, nice. Hilmar. How are you? Hi. Very good. Hello, Vanessa. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. What are you doing this day? I am practices in English, ready. And you, Liz? Oh, what a coincidence. I'm English course these days, and I'm listening audiobooks. And you, Vanessa? I am doing my English homework, and I'm studying on my house. Okay. Hello, Hilmar. How are you? Hi, very good. Hello, Vanessa. How are you? I find things. What are you doing this day? I am practicing in English already. And you, Liz? Oh, what a coincidence. I'm English course these days, and I'm listening to the books. And you, Vanessa? I am doing my English homework, and I'm studying on my house. Okay. Beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Si me equivoco es porque los nervios me traicionan, compañero. No. Yes. Eh, solo una vez más, eh, Liz. Eh, okay. Reading. Reading. Re no, reading. Is writing. Okay. Hello, Hilmar. How are you? Hi. Hi. Very good. Hello, Vanessa. How are you? Hi, fine. Thanks. What are you doing this day? I am practicing English writing. And you, Liz? Oh, what a coincidence. I'm English course these days, and I'm listening audiobooks. 
And you, Vanessa? I am doing my English homework and I am studying on my house. Ready, okay. ready, ready. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I hope everyone's ready. Espero que todos estén listos. I hope everyone's ready, okay? Are you ready? Están listos? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, that's yes, excellent. Yes, teacher. Okay, Sara, yes? Yes, teacher. All right, that's very good. That's excellent. So uh, let's start with uh, group number one, Hilmar, Liz, and Vanessa. Let's listen to them. Escuchémoslos. Let's listen to them. Hello, Hilmar. How are you? Hi, very good. Hello, Vanessa. How are you? I find things. What are you doing this day? I am practices in English writing. And you list? Oh, what a coincidence. I'm English course these days and I'm listening audiobooks. And you, Vanessa? I am doing my English homework and I am studying on my house. In your teacher. <laughs> good, that's excellent. Excellent, that's excellent. Thank you very much. That's pretty good. Let's listen to group number two. Uh, it's Aida, Maria, Isabel, and Marvin Ovidio, right? So let's listen to them. Aida, Isabel, and Marvin. No sé si Marvin se logró agregar al final. I am here, teacher. Al but, equipo. Uh, but we... Uh, did, but we did the conversation I did with Marvin and after I did with Aida. Ah, okay, perfect. It's okay. Okay. And then I begin with which Aida? Okay. 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 Uh, hi, Aida. What are you doing this day? Hi, Isabel. I'm working all day. Oh, that's really? Do you working all day? And where are you, where are you working at this moment? Yes, I'm working all day and I'm in my house at this moment. And I'm resting tomorrow. How about you? I'm working in a nice company this day and I work Monday until Friday, and I am studying English too. That's great. Oh. Are you doing with Marvin, right? Or no? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. continue. Okay. Hello, Marvin. Nice to see you. Hello, Isabel. Too. What are you doing this day? I am working in a new company. What about you? Green, I'm going to supermarket and then I am visiting my parents. Oh, very nice. I'm visiting I visiting my parents next week. Well, I have to leave. See you later. Bye, Mari. Bye. That's excellent. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Good job. Okay. Now let's listen to the next group. Vamos al siguiente grupo, group three. Claudia, Jamie, and Sara. Are you ready? ¿Están listos? Are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay, excellent. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Claudia. What are you doing this day? I am taking an English course this day. Hello, Sara. Hello, Claudia. How about you? I am going to the beach this day. And you, Claudia? Um, I'm visiting my family this day. Bye, Jamie. Bye, Claudia. See you tomorrow, girls. Tomorrow, Jamie and Sara. Okay, that's excellent. Very good. Thank you very much, girls. Thank you. Now let's listen to group number four. In group number four, we have Carlos, Robinson, and Salma, but I guess only Robinson and Salma are presenting, right? 
Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Hello, Robinson. What are you doing this day? Hello, I am Sony for going the beach. Uh, how about your Salma? Um, hi, Robinson. I am ready, reading the book, The Cocinera de Castamar. Oh, is great. Well, nice to meet you, Robinson. Finish, teacher. Okay, maybe you can finish. Uh, hello. Uh, maybe you can finish saying nice to see you. Because ah. in, the, in the conversation, I can see that you know each other, que ya se conocen, ¿verdad? Sí? Ah. And ah, nice okay. to meet you is like, encantado de conocerte. Maybe you can say nice to see you, que es encantado de verte o encantada de verte, ¿ok? Ah. Nice to see you. And see in the you. book, maybe you can say, say the name of the book again, please. El nombre del libro otra vez. De Cocinera de Castamar. Ok, then you say de, cocide, de Cocinera de Castamar book, ok? Just ah. to say that. You say that in English. You say book después del nombre del libro, ok? Ah, ok. But the rest is ok. Lo demás está excelente, ok? So thank you very much for uh, your participation. Now let's listen to group number five. In group number five, we have, let me check here, Blanca and Carla. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's excellent. Go ahead. Yes. Let's start, Carla. Mommy. Ahorita. Mommy. Oh, my mom. Hello, hello, what are you doing these days? Hello, Carla. I am working these days and I am having to work in my English workbook because I study English. Really? That's excellent. I am study English to um, what level do you study? I study on basic model too and you? Me too. Nice. Uh, nice to meet you. See you on the class. Nice to see you. Bye. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, girls. Thank you very much. Same suggestion, Carla. Nice to see you, okay? Nice to see you. Porque nice to meet you es como cuando no conocemos a alguien, ¿verdad? Nice to meet okay. you. Pero cuando ya le conocemos, le digo, nice to see you, encantado de verte, ¿ok? Yeah, nice to see you, ¿ok? Thank you, uh, le, le, thank thank you, you. very much for your uh, participation, and let's listen to the next group. And in the next group, we have Elenilson and Santos. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Perfect. I think they are the last group. Okay, excellent. Go ahead, Elenilson. Okay. Hello, Santos. How are you? Hello, Ellen Nilsson. I am good. And you? I'm fine. What are you doing these days? I am taking a forklift training this day. Really? I'm glad for you. I'm taking an English course too. Perfect. It's good. It aches a pleasure. I see. Nice to meet you, Santos. Okay, okay. excellent. Uh, same suggestion, Eileen Nilsson. I don't know if in the context, do you know each other? ¿Se conocen ya en el contexto? Yes, sir. En la conversación, ya se uh, Nice to see you again. Nice to see you sería, okay? Nice yes, to sir. see you. And, and Santos, you need to say, it's a pleasure to see you, okay? It's a pleasure to see you. Es un placer verte. Es un gusto verte. It's a pleasure to see you, okay? It's a pleasure to see to you. To see you, to see you, to see you. Como si de ver, okay? It's a pleasure to see you. Okay, thank you, Ellen Nilsson and Santos. Thank you for your uh, participation. I guess everybody finished, right? Creo que todos terminaron, yes? Yes, right? Nadie se me quedó. Nobody's missing? A Rafa no lo vi. Yes, el grupo 6 le falta, teacher. Group 6, okay, let me Ayer check. Oh, Rafa and Irma, right? Ah, Rafa and Irma are missing, I think. <laughs> 
Group number six is right. So, Rafa and Irma, are you ready? ¿Están listos? Yes. Ready, teacher. Okay, excellent. It's my turn, Irma. Hello, Irma. How are you? Hello, Rafael. What are you doing this day? I am working today, but inside the classroom tonight. What a coincidence. I am in class. I am working on a new project and capacitation attending the client. Hello, Rafael. Bye, Rafael. Bye, bye, Irma. See you tomorrow. Bye. Finish, teacher. Okay, excellent. Can you, re Irma, can you repeat? Finish. Can you repeat the part of your training, please? Puede repetir la parte del training que mencionó? I am working on the new project, the capacitation attending the client. Okay, uh, I am working on a project. Maybe you can say, um, I don't know. It's a capacitación de clientes is uh, uh -huh. Capacitación de atención al cliente. Oh, client, you can say customer service training. Customer service Custom training. Training. Project. Sería eh, a new project. The customer serving. The yeah, customer, but ¿verdad? I think a project is not necessary because project and training is like, I don't know. Maybe you can say, uh, I am taking a customer service training. Estoy tomando un curso eh, o un, un, una capacitación de servicio al cliente. Podría ser mejor. Yeah. I am okay. taking a customer service training, ¿ok? Yes, thank yeah. you. Ok, ¿eso es lo que quiere decir? Sí, eh, es I, estoy trabajando, eh, quiero ver, I am working, estoy trabajando en, una, en un nuevo proyecto de capacitación de atención al cliente. Va, pero ¿ya está implementando el proyecto o está tomando la capacitación? Estoy implementando el proyecto. Ah, and that then is different. Entonces sería diferente, ¿ok? Uh, mm -hmm. Then you can say then, um, I am working on a customer service training. Sería mejor. I am working on a customer service training, ¿ok? Or I am implementing, ¿ok? Uh, yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am working on a customer service training or maybe I am implementing. I am implementing. So implementando because it's about action, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, teacher, but in this case, I, I believe that the ideal of Irma is that is his project. <laughs> and, it's, uh, it's not the training, it's the project. Yes. Yes, it's the project about the customer service, but uh, I believe the idea that Irma's, Irma's project is uh, that she's doing the project. She's preparing the project. She's preparing. Ah, this is... ah I see. Then, Irma, you have to say, I am preparing. Ya estoy preparando, okay? O es de, de, de preparar, okay? I am preparing a customer service training. Sería mejor, ¿verdad? Mm. I think. No project. No. Or project, okay? Es que si decimos ah, project okay. y training, it's like two different things. Son dos eh. cosas diferentes. ¿Es proyecto o, uh -huh. es, o es una capacitación, okay? I don't know. Es proyecto. Ah, then you say a customer service project. A customer I am preparing service, a customer service customer project. Service project. Project, uh, okay. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Now, um, well, thank you for your participation. Quiero que todos vayan a reacciones y se den un aplauso. Ahí está una manita, una, ahí están unas manitas, creo, para aplaudirse, okay? So give yourselves running applauses. Desen aplausos todos, okay? Give yourselves running applauses. Thank you for your participation. Great work. Excelente trabajo. Great work. Okay, and we continue with the next part. And now we go back to reporting problems. Vamos al tema que tenemos, que es reportando problemas. Reporting problems, okay? That's the topic we have, okay? Para ponerlos en contexto nuevamente. Page number 39, página 39. Page number 39. Listen. Here we have some problems, okay? 
we have eight problems, eight problems, okay? Uh, so the question is, or, or I mean the, the instruction is, check which problems are the most common reasons to call tech support. ¿Cuáles de esos problemas son las razones más comunes para llamar support, a soporte técnico? Uh, what do you think? New software, maybe? New software? Nuevo software? Um, no, internet. It will probably. Ok, so put a check on it. Yes. Le ponen un chequecito si tienen el folleto. O si lo okay. tienen digital, ahí buscan la manera de hacerlo. Uh, no internet access? Yes. Yes, yes right. It's yes. very important. Yes. This is, a, uh, this is a very important reason, una razón muy importante. A virus in my computer? Yes. Yes, yes. right? Because a virus, a virus destroys the information sometimes, okay? Deleted mm -hmm. files? ¿Saben qué es deleted files? No. Yes. What is deleted files? files? Sí. Archivos. Borrar. Archivos. Archivos eliminados. Archivos eliminados o borrados, okay? Archivos borrados o eliminados. Que yo sabía que tenía ese archivo y ya no lo encuentro. So, deleted files. So, the solution is how to recover the file. Cómo recuperar ese archivo. So, I need tech support. So, si creen yes. que es una razón muy importante, pura check on it. Le ponen un chequecito. O lo escriben en su cuaderno. Okay. Okay. Number five. Paper yes. stuck in printer. El papel se atascó en la impresora. Paper yes. stuck in printer. Yes, right. Yes. yes. <laughs> It's very common. It's very common. Es muy común, es very common. Now, next. USB ports out of order. El puerto USB no funciona. Mm. Ports out of order, not so common, right? No muy común. All right. No, okay. Next, funny noise in the CPU. Solo todavía tienen computadoras de esas que traen CPU y monitor o ya tienen laptop ustedes. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, both, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. The problem here is funny noise in the CPU. Un, un sonido divertido en el CPU. Like, I don't know what kind of noise, right? Yeah. And the last yes. one. So if it's a common reason, check it. Si es una razón común, pónganle un chequecito o le escriben, okay? And the last one, frozen screen. Se me congeló la pantalla. Frozen screen. Yes. Yes. This It's is a reason common. to call. Yeah, uh -huh. This is common, right? Mainly when you have a lot of information. Principalmente cuando tiene yes. mucha información. So let's uh, le, let me repeat. New software es como nuevo software. It's a problem, right? Es como las las actualizaciones. I don't know kind of like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. No internet access. <laughs> a virus. Deleted files que son archivos borrados o eliminados. Deleted. 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 Files. Deleted. 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 Deleted files. Deleted. Yes. Paper stuck in printer. Papel atascado. Okay. Stuck. Es atascado. Okay. Paper stuck in printer. USB ports out of order. Los puertos USB no funcionan. Funny noise in the CPU. Sonido raro <laughs> o divertido en el CPU. And frozen screen. Que es pantalla congelada. Frozen screen. Okay. <laughs> Very good. So we have eight possible problems. Tenemos ocho <coughs> problemas diferentes. So please, apaguen el micrófono y lo vamos a pronunciar. Turn off the microphone and let's pronounce. Ready? Lo vamos a pronunciar tres veces cada uno. Three times each. Tres veces cada uno. New software. New software. New software. No internet access. No internet access. No internet access. A virus. A virus. A virus. Deleted files. Deleted files. We are repeating, right? Estamos repitiendo, ¿verdad? Deleted files. Deleted files. Paper stuck in printer. Paper stuck in printer. Paper stuck in printer. USB ports out of order. USB ports out of order. USB ports out of order. 
Funny noise in the CPU. Funny noise in the CPU. Funny noise in the CPU. Aquí, en vez de decir CPU, pueden decir otro, otro equipo. Puede ser en el aire acondicionado, un sonido raro o divertido en el aire acondicionado. So you can say funny noise in the air conditioning, for example. Okay? Let's continue. Continuemos. Frozen screen. Frozen screen. Frozen screen. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, we have 15 minutes, right? And here, uh, before we do the next activity, here we have some common problems, okay? Ways to report a problem. Tenemos algunas maneras de las que aparecían en la conversación de reportar un problema, okay? ¿Cómo podemos reportar un problema? How can we report a problem to tech support? ¿Cómo podemos reportar un problema a soporte técnico en inglés? I say, for example, I would like to report a problem. Me gustaría reportar un problema. I would like to report a problem. También puedo decir, I would like to report an issue. An issue is a problem too. Un issue es un problema, es lo mismo. Son sinónimos. Issue and problem son sinónimos. Okay? Issue and problem are synonyms. Issue y problem son sinónimos. Me gustaría reportar un problema igual. Number three, la número tres. I have trouble with, tengo problemas con, I have trouble with my computer, for example. I have trouble with my laptop. I have trouble with my cell phone. I have trouble with my car. I have trouble with my CPU. I have trouble with my printer. Tengo problemas con, y ahí solo le ponen la palabra, right? So these are ways to report a problem. Estas son formas de cómo. Um, okay, let me get the pen here. Estas son formas de cómo reportar un problema, lo que pueden usar, el vocabulario que pueden usar, okay? The vocabulary you can use. And here, y aquí a la par, tenemos cómo reportar ese problema. Okay, how to report it. ¿Qué podemos decir después de I would like to report a problem? First we have, primero tenemos it doesn't or it does not seem to work. No parece funcionar. Puede ser la computadora. En vez de decir it, puedo decir the computer does not seem to work. O the printer does not seem to work. La impresora no parece funcionar. The printer does not seem to work. Second issue, segundo problema. It makes a funny noise. Ah, aquí ya tenemos otra palabra, miren. Tenemos strange y funny. Dos opciones, right? Two options. Si usamos la primera es, hace un ruido extraño. It makes a strange noise. Si usamos la segunda, it makes a funny noise. Hace un sonido divertido. It makes a funny noise, okay? And the last one, la última, it does not turn on, no enciende. En vez de decir it, podrían decir the printer. The printer does not turn on. La impresora no enciende. The printer does not turn on. Todos esos it que están ahí, los pueden sustituir por el, por el equipo que tienen dañado, ¿ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. Very good. Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? So, summarizing, haciendo un resumen. Este es el vocabulario que puedo usar para reportar el problema y ese es ya reportando el problema en sí. ¿Ok? ¿Any question? ¿Any question? Concluding or summarizing, resumiendo. I would, like to, I would like to report a problem. Me gustaría reportar un problema. I would like to report an issue. Me gustaría reportar un problema. I have trouble with. Tengo problemas con. I have trouble with my computer. It does not seem to work. No parece trabajar o funcionar. Funcionar. It makes a strange noise. Hace un ruido extraño. It makes a funny noise. Hace un ruido divertido. It does not turn on. No enciende. It does not turn on. On. So no questions? No hay preguntas entonces? No questions? No? No question. No questions. No. Yeah. Now listen. Using the vocabulary, usando este vocabulario, y los problemas pueden ser estos problemas de aquí arriba también, y usando este vocabulario de aquí en la página 39 y 40, 
van a hacer una cosa. You will do something. But let me share here. Le voy a compartir otra pantalla mejor. Lo vamos a hacer en base a esto. We will do it based on this. ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you doing? Tenemos tres columnas, right? We have three columns on this chart. Tenemos tres columnas en ese cuadrito. The question is, what are some, some common issues you have in your workplace? ¿Cuáles son algunos problemas comunes que tienes en tu trabajo? Problemas con equipo, ¿verdad? Pueden poner, por ejemplo, tres problemas, ¿ok? Aquí donde dice your issues. Ahí donde dice your issues, ¿ok? Ustedes solo van a llenar esta cajita nada más y dejan el espacio para las otras dos en su libreta de apuntes. ¿Qué podrían poner donde dice your issues? Lo demás lo dejan en blanco ahorita. Esto lo dejan en blanco, ¿ok? Podrían poner, por ejemplo, un problema que puedo tener con equipo en mi trabajo. Mi com my computer does not turn on. Mi computadora no enciende. The air conditioning makes a strange noise. El aire acondicionado hace un ruido extraño, aplicando el vocabulario que ya vimos, ¿ok? Va a inscribir tres ¿Sí? posibles problemas. Puede ser acerca de la impresora, de la computadora, de la laptop. ¿De qué más puede ser? Del carro, del celular, I don't know, ¿ok? Y ahí ya tienen atrás la forma de, en el material tienen la forma de reportar un problema, ¿ok? Yo solo le doy ejemplo. Ok. My computer does not seem to work, por ejemplo. My air conditioning makes a funny noise. Hace un ruido divertido. I have trouble with my laptop, por ejemplo. I have trouble with my laptop. Usando el vocabulario que ya le di, ¿ok? Tres problemas, three problems, que pueden tener en su trabajo. Three, pro three problems you can have in your job, ¿ok? ¿Se entiende qué van a hacer? ¿Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Yes. Okay, How can I say the oasis of water? Cooler. Cooler. The cooler. C-O-O-L-E-R. The cooler. The cooler oh. makes, a, makes a strange noise. Make <laughs> a uh, funny noise. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, uh, I have problem with my password. Yes, you can say I have a problem with my password. It's okay. Está bien. Yes. Okay. I have a problem with my password.
Are you ready or you need more time? ¿Están listos o necesitan más tiempo? Are you ready or you need more time? We are ready. I am ready. Okay, please, do me the favor, go to reactions and raise your hands. Hágame el favor de ir a reacciones y levanta la mano si están listos, please. Go to reactions and raise your hands if you're ready. Dejen el espacio para el Classmate 1 y Classmate 2, ¿ok? So you write your issues, va a escribir sus tres problemas acá y dejan espacio para, para dos compañeros más. Give space for two classmates, ¿ok? Please. Mm -hmm. Ok, solo cuatro han terminado. Let's wait then. Esperemos un momento entonces. Let's wait a moment. Let's wait another moment. Oh, five. Marvin, did you finish? Yes, right? Les pasaré asistencia mientras terminan, ok? While you finish. Ok. Please. I will pass you the attendance while you finish. Okay, mientras terminan, les paso asistencia. Let me pass the attendance quickly. All right. Aida? Present. Uh, Blanca? Present. Carlos? Present. Claudia? Present. Ellen Nielsen? Present, teacher. Hilmar? Present teacher. Irma? Present teacher. Javier? Jamie? Carla? Present. Okay. Carla? Mario? Marvin? Present. Marvin? Oh, he said present, yeah. sorry. Sorry. Ah, uh, Isabel, no dije, right? I didn't say Isabel. Isabel? Yes. <laughs> present. All right, I'm sorry. Rafael? Present teacher. Very good. Robinson? I am here, teacher. Very good. Salma? Salma? Santos? Present teacher. Sara. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Liz. Present teacher. And Vanessa. Present teacher. All right, very good. That's excellent. So did everybody finish? Todos terminaron? Did everybody finish? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, yes. yes teacher. Yes. yes. Pero no todos han levantado la mano. Go to reactions and raise your hands if you finish. Vayan a reacciones y levantan la mano los que ya terminaron, please. Let me see. Almost everybody. I am missing like one, two, yeah. Like five, I guess. Creo que me faltan como cinco. I am missing like, like five, I think. 
Okay. I guess um okay, thank you. Creo que no vamos a tener tiempo de terminar la actividad, porque si lo hacemos ahorita va a quedar va a quedar cortada, no vamos a salir a tiempo, okay? We will make it on time. Okay? So, um just let me explain quickly para que tengan una idea de lo que vamos a hacer mañana, okay? Con esto para que lo tengan presente, no lo vayan a borrar, ténganlo en su libreta, okay? Have it on your notebook. What are you going to do? ¿Qué van a hacer mañana? Basically, you will listen to your classmates, right? Le van a, a preguntar a sus compañeros uh, what are some common issues you have in your workplace? Y lo que ellos les digan lo van a notar. What they tell you, you will take notes. Y luego le preguntan a otro, you ask another and you take notes, okay? Básicamente eso es lo que vamos a hacer con esta actividad mañana. Así que tengan sus actividades porque ustedes las van a compartir con otros compañeros, okay? Y ellos les van a compartir okay. y ustedes van a tomar notas. Así que tengan las presentes para mañana. Have them there for tomorrow, please. Okay? Uh, do you have any question about today's class? Preguntas no. De clase de hoy? No questions. No questions. Everything is clear. Todo claro? Yes. 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 Are you sure? Yes. 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 We okay, are very sure. sure. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, very sure. Bien seguro. Very, very sure. More than sure. Más que seguro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. Uh, so only Robinson stays. The rest you can leave. Thank you for connecting. Good night. Y espero verlos mañana todos otra vez, okay? So good night. Okay. Take care. Good night. 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 Bye bye. Hey, hold on, Robinson. Okay, Robinson. So this space is for Hello. you. Hello, Robinson. Este espacio es para ti, así que puedes hacerlo en español si, si sientes dificultad y si tienes alguna duda, pregunta acerca de algo de la clase o algo que quieras saber, adelante. Por ejemplo, en esta, en esta actividad que estamos haciendo ahora, digamos que es uh, identificando el problema, ¿cierto? Que yo tenga. Reportando. Pero, Es reportando, ya lo identificaste. En, la, en esto que ah. estamos viendo es reportando el problema que tienes. Por ejemplo, yo, bueno, yo tengo una que dice, eh, ¿cómo es? Eh, the motorcycle doesn't not have lips. Does not have? Lip, lips. What is that? ¿Qué es eso? Eh, luces, algo así, creo que. Lights. 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 Eso, lights. ¿The motorcycle? ¿La bicicleta o la motocicleta? Motocicle. Motocicle. Ah, the motorcycle. Then you say the motorcycle Mot does mm -hmm. not have lights. It's okay. It's a problem. Está, Está bien. bien. Okay. Listo. Bueno, y digamos que otro, en un punto donde pues veo que siempre tengo mucha falencia, es en, en la pronunciación, ¿cierto? Porque digamos que yo voy es como muy pegado a lo, a lo escrito. Entonces como que veo que es totalmente diferente. Yes, ¿Cómo, totally. ¿Cómo digamos sé cómo, digamos o cómo debo? Digamos que o uno tiene que aprenderse así por sí las, todas las letras o no sé. <risa> es que la verdad que sí que tengo como eso bueno porque Buen por punto, ejemplo eh. el en español o sea, digamos que junta las las palabras y ya ahí sale digamos que de las letras y ya ahí sale digamos una palabra pero en inglés por ejemplo es diferente a lo que está escrito la pronunciación como tal esa es la, la esa es la bueno primera vez que me hacen la pregunta de hecho de, de cómo cómo mejorar eso pero es la dificultad de, de, de muchos, ¿ok? De hecho, tienes razón, o sea, el inglés se escribe de una forma y se pronuncia de otra, no es igual que el español, ¿verdad? Que el español Ajá. se escribe así y se pronuncia así, ¿ok? Entonces, tal vez, eh, una forma de, 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 de mejorar, porque la pregunta es cómo puedes mejorar eso, ¿verdad? Sí, o así. digamos que... ¿O qué puedo hacer? Sí, o a qué, digamos, a qué... Porque, por ejemplo, María Isabel me, me hizo un, 
digamos que un punto de una corrección, pues digamos que es bueno, bien, que me dijo que me aprendiera a, la, a pronunciar bien las, digamos que las vocales o el abecedario. No sé si en eso influye. Por ejemplo, eh, aquí que donde dice motorcyclet, eh, por ejemplo, la, las vocales influyen ahí al tema de uno expresarla, ¿cierto? Sí, en realidad el abecedario en inglés no es muy... O sea, sí es bueno saberlo para deletrear palabras, pero no para pronunciar en sí, tal vez. Eh, porque en sí, para pronunciar tendría que ser el abecedario fonético, que es algo muy diferente al abecedario que normalmente vemos, el A, B, C, D, E, F, G, ¿verdad? Ajá. Porque es, eh, ese en sí, ese vocabulario en contexto, ese, ese abecedario, perdón, en contexto o en pronunciación no es muy útil. El que es útil es el abecedario fonético, pero es algo diferente. Pero en el caso de ustedes no lo voy a poner a estudiar abecedario fenético porque es algo, o sea, ya, que ya está en, ajá, más complejo. Personalmente, yo te digo, de, cuando yo estaba aprendiendo el idioma, lo que yo hacía para pronunciar, para aprender pronunciación era, si no sabía cómo se pronunciaba una palabra específicamente, en ese tiempo no había tanto diccionario digital, digamos. Pero lo que yo hacía es que compré un diccionario, tenía el CD, lo instalé, el diccionario en, en mi computadora era como un software y tenía pronunciar, la, metía la palabra, me daba la definición y la pronunciación. Yo la escuchaba tantas veces como podía hasta que me grababa la pronunciación. Eso me funcionaba a mí. Hoy en día no necesitas tener un CD porque solo vas a, vas a internet o tienes aplicaciones de Cambridge Dictionary, de Oxford Dictionary, de Word Reference, que metes la palabra y tienes un speaker, le haces clic en el, en el speaker y ya te da la pronunciación. Y tú la repites, la repites hasta el punto que ya la manejas. Por ejemplo, así como esta. Frozen screen. Exactamente. Entonces tú la repites. Frozen screen, frozen screen, frozen screen. Hasta que llegas a un punto que ya la manejas. Es repetición, básicamente. Es repetición. Dice mucha repetición. El inglés requiere de mucha repetición. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, pues a mí, yo siento que he estado aprendiendo, ¿cierto? Pues en, en las cosas de, digamos que el, las actividades que se han estado realizando, solo que digamos que sí, me cuesta bastante eso, eh, saber, digamos, cómo se dice tal cosa, cómo se dice... Por ejemplo, playa, ahorrar, si ¿sí me entiendes, son esas cositas pequeñitas y entonces, pero de la, digamos que la estructura como tal, eh, ahí, ahí digamos que un poco clara, pero sí siento mucha falencia en, en, ese, en ese sector. Sí, sería vocabulario prácticamente. Ajá. Sí, el vocabulario la verdad es que lo van a ir mejorando poco a poco, pero a medida vayamos, vayamos avanzando, pero va a depender también. Yo sé que es bien difícil porque ustedes tienen horarios bien ajustados de trabajo, mayormente, ¿verdad? Pero hay de buscar Ajá. como una forma, no solamente la clase de inglés, sino buscar como una forma para ir como enriqueciendo ese vocabulario en inglés. Es decir, Por ejemplo, yo ¿qué tengo forma una funciona función. para mí mejor? Ajá, es de analizarlo. Uh -huh. Ajá, sí, porque digamos que un, sacar un espacio o por lo menos en mi tiempo para yo sacar un espacio digamos que para dedicarle una, una hora o ya es como digamos yo quedarme ahorita y extenderme más pero entonces mañana me toca madrugar y entonces ahí es donde se hace un poco eh, com, complejo entonces ahí cuando puedo digamos que escucho música en inglés o algo así para de pronto ir ir practicando, como, uh -huh. practicando. entiendo, Pero, sí, es lo, que, es lo que digo, si sí, yo entiendo, o sea, sí, yo sé que es bastante difícil, porque ustedes tienen horarios bien ajustados de, de trabajo, y es bien difícil como encontrar un espacio, pero yo creo que, 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 que se puede, y tal vez no una hora necesariamente, sino que tal vez, yo siento que si estamos al menos listos, y si tal vez durante la clase buscamos palabras, las vamos anotando, Tal vez en esos espacios, un espacio de cinco minutos, tomarme unos cinco, diez minutos en almuerzo, no sé, en cualquier momento, para practicar esas palabras. Aunque sean dos palabras al día, dos, tres palabras, eso ya es ganancia. Pero la idea es buscar ese, 
ese espacio que a veces es bien difícil, ¿verdad? Pero es más que todo de hacerse el hábito, creo yo. Uh -huh. Sí. Aunque bueno, sea cinco, cinco minutos, porque, o sea, cinco minutos a nada, <ríe> que, sí. que, que es más recomendable, cinco minutos, ¿verdad? Aunque sea solo una palabra o dos. Correcto. Ajá, entonces yo creo que se puede, aunque no tal vez una hora, media hora, pero tal vez unos cinco o diez minutos. Eso llega a ansia siempre y cuando se haga y que se haga un, un hábito. Uh -huh. Listo. Bueno, eso sería todo, teacher. Ok. Feliz noche. Ok, gracias por conectarte, gracias por quedarte a la sesión y buenas noches. Dale pues, bye. teacher, gracias. Ok, good night, bye bye. Good night, good night. Ok, bye.